Lionel Messi, uh, good feel good story to start with. Um, there was a, not exactly Lionel Messi, but a young kid who was, um, a, a picture circulated, went viral on the internet of him with a makeshift Leo Messi jersey made out of a plastic bag. Really touched you in the feel good parts. And it spoke through to what football means for a lot of kids. Like they'll just, like, you can just go to a park and play mm -hmm. two jumpers and a ball. You can just put on any shirt and you can say, I am that person. This kid found a plastic bag that resonated well with Argentina's home shirt. And it really did. It was a touching image. So the internet did what the internet does best, and that is try to get this message out there. I love when the internet does this. I love when it's a message of getting someone in touch with someone or portraying a positive message. And uh, so therefore, CNN reported on this video today. So let's take a look at what they had to say. This kid's picture winds up being all over the internet. He's wearing a plastic bag that is a makeshift hmm. messy jersey. Why? Well, he's a poor kid in Afghanistan. He loves a soccer player. He goes to his dad. He wants one of these things. They don't have the money. They don't have a way to get it. So he's running around uh, with this plastic jersey. The question, the picture gets picked up, goes all over. Oh, wow. What happens? What happens now? Because of what he was wearing, word starts to spread. Who is this kid? Now we know. Five-year-old Murtaza Ahmadi from Afghanistan loves football and Messi. That's the quote on who he is and what he's about. The father tells CNN he's really happy the photos are now everywhere. He wants to become a football player in the future and go to school. Guess who got it? Leo Messi's fan account. Nice. Oh, my gosh. All right. They nice. received a direct message from Leo's team. They want to know who this kid is so that Leo can arrange <gasps> something for him. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this is fantastic. What comes next? What, what comes, comes next? next? Um, we can only take a stab at it of what comes next. I know what comes next. All right, Francis. Murtazi Akhmadi, right? He goes up to play in the uh, club level, scores 500 goals at a ridiculous pace, wins a couple Ballon d'Ors, and then gets to his national team and lets the entire country down. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually intrigued to see if someone is going to watch this closely. What a feel-good story it would be if you managed to, to, to find this kid who would go forward and play professional football. We'd all love to see that happen. Uh, let's just hope that he gets the jersey, which I'm sure he will. Leo Messi's fan account is going to push him in touch with Lionel Messi. Hopefully, you get the boy a shirt. Hopefully, he keeps hold of the shirt and washes it the once The kid's never going to take the shirt off. We have the tweet uh, from Leo Messi's fan account, which is, I think, Messi uh, 10 stats. We got DM from Leo's team, direct message. Uh, they want to know who this kid is so that Leo can arrange something for him. Retweet and spread. It works. Seven thousand retweets. Uh, first name basis with the fan account. Leo. Leo. Yeah. Touch touch base with Leo. Just it's like when you were doing that clip a few months back, and you're like, I mean, Michael. Michael's clearly <laughs> the best. Yeah, it's like Michael. Michael uh, yeah, Michael Jordan. I mean, <laughs> first name basis. Um, so we do hope that the kid that happens to get a shirt and goes on to to great things. We can only wish him the, the best. We do want to uh, give our props to CNN for this in reporting that. He was in the correct area and not Iraq. We sent out a search team trying to find the kid in Iraq, yeah, uh, and they're just so wandering around in the wrong place. The BBC trending was the one who picked up this uh, before CNN, but they picked up the, the Twitter back and forth that happened uh, between what was originally a kid joking about who knew who that kid was, and they mentioned that he was in Iraq. They mentioned he might have been in Iran. Uh, it turns out he was in Afghanistan. Again, not to bore you with the details, but it just shows to be, you know, do your due diligence, do the research. You don't want to just send it to a random kid random. who maybe he's not a Messi fan. What if, there's, what if a random kid in Iraq was a di giant Ronaldo fan and they sent him a Messi jersey? I, I, I couldn't think of anything worse, Jason. It must have been awful. <laughs> well, let's hope that the kid receives a signed Lionel Messi shirt and goes on to great things. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below, as always, at TYT Sports on Twitter, at Francis underscore Max. So, huge controversy taking over the Twitter world today. Jason Rubin has announced that he is now the in-house TYT controversy correspondent and he's documenting the back and forth between myself and Hassan Piker at Pop Trigger between Think Tank and TYT Sports. It's crazy on there. Go and check it out. Looking at you, Think Tank.